Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ricky. In today's video, I will be showing you my March empties. I'll be rating these items 1 through 10, and I will be letting you know if I will be repurchasing these items in the future. Alright you guys, let's get started with this video. I threw all of my empties in this little bin that I picked up from Home Goods. So, let's get started. Our first item that we have here is Limoncello. I didn't have any problems with this at all. It had a really beautiful lemony fragrance, kind of smell like a lemon head. Fragrance notes are Sorrento lemons, cane sugar, lemon zest with natural essential oils. I will be rating this a 10 out of 10. I loved this candle a lot. I enjoyed it and um, it gave me no problems. Um, it smelled really, really good, and I will be repurchasing a limoncello in the future. Next, um, I actually used this iced vanilla woods um, to burn the candle that's in here. It's cranberry peach. Um, my cranberry peach one had broke, so um, I took the wax out and I put it in here. So um, it smelled really, really good very uh, cranberry and peachy and it just smelled really sweet and very perfect for the spring weather um i put it under my warmer for like a good week maybe even two weeks i want to say and after i just decided to burn it the throw was pretty good after me um, putting it under the warmer but um i will be rating this a 10 out of 10. i loved it a lot and um it was just a really nice scent to have it's very beautiful and i will be repurchasing cranberry peach in the future next is lavender bergamot this is bright lavender bold bergamot zest warm tonka bean with natural essential oils this was a nice little zesty slightly spicy candle um it didn't give me any problems i will be rating this a 10 out of 10 the throw was very much there she let herself be known um it's very soft zesty and slightly spicy um perfect for this type of weather and um i I'm not sure if I will be repurchasing this in the future. It is a nice scent, but not in, not, mm, I feel like I would rather pick other candles over this one, but this is a really nice scent overall. So that is Lavender Bergamot. Next is Cinnamon Sugared Pecan. Cinnamon Sugar Warm Roasted Pecans Brown Sugar with Natural Essential Oils. This was a nice cinnamon, kind of gave me like cinnamon toast crunch, um, but the pecans, like it made it really nutty, um, you know, it was just a little sweet dessert scented candle. I loved how it made my living room smell. Um, I'll be giving it a 9 out of 10. Um, the throw was very heavy, almost to the point where I kind of had to, like, turn it off just so it, like, it, it the, the throw is thick, but, um, it produced very, very well, and it didn't give me any problems. I will be rating this a 9 out of 10. And I will be repurchasing this in the future, like around Christmas time. But for now, I think I'm okay without it. So that is Cinnamon Sugared Pecan. So this candle right here is in Bath & Body Works. I actually picked this up at Home Goods. This scent is Fresh Macarons. It's by Light Candle Company. Um, this was a single wick unfortunately this did not fit under my warmer so i decided to light it i lit it in my room 
the throw was like a four out of ten and um so I lit it for a couple of days in my room and then I decided to just put it in my bathroom so I lit it there and the throw doubled um it was like an eight out of ten for throw and um yeah this is perfect for a smaller space but it smells really nice very vanilla almondy as a macaroon would smell like uh, it didn't really give me no problems i guess the only problem that it did give me was that this would like turn black and i would have to wipe it every time i almost got scared that it would like break over like for being too hot but um i monitored it closely so i will be rating this a 7 out of 10 it wasn't my favorite but i decided to try something different so will i be repurchasing this in the future probably not it's gonna be a no for me so that is fresh macarons moving on this is not bath and body works this is La Roche Posse. I literally don't know how to s s pronounce that, but we're just going to go with it's La Roche Posse. <laughs> this is a purifying foaming cleanser. I got this at Target for, I think, $12 or $14. I really like this a lot. Um, it doesn't make my face, like, dry in any way. Um... I really like it because it left my skin feeling smooth and yeah it was just like a really light cleanser um, I kept this in the shower and I really like it I want to go back and get another one this is a 10 out of 10 and like it has um, it's fragrance free ceramide 3 niacinamide And um, I really, really liked it. It's soap-free, sulfate-free, oil-free, fragrance-free. It has a lot of good things to it. And I would even, like, open my eyes when I would be washing my face with it. And it did not hurt my eyes at all. So I recommend this. If you guys want something that is not natural, but something that's very non like doesn't dry your face out is what i'm trying to say so 10 out of 10 and i will be coming back for a new one pretty soon so here we have a cactus blossom foaming hand soap here are the scent notes i love this scent a lot it's, if, as you know this is like one of my favorite bath and body work scents it's very nostalgic for me because once upon a time, Gap had this lotion that smelled exactly like this. So this reminds me of my teenage years. So Cactus Blossom will always be a 10 out of 10. And I will be repurchasing this in the future. Next up is a Rose Water and Ivy Foaming Hand Soap. It's like a, like a very springy, soft, scented hand soap um the scent didn't really last that long which i didn't mind um but i really really like this um 10 out of 10 and i have plenty of backups but if i didn't i probably would repurchase this because it's a nice scent to have around and every time i wash my hands i like constantly smell my hands so it's a really nice natural um like I don't know like plantsy gardeny type of scent so I really enjoyed that so that is rose water and ivy so we went through a body cream this is cedarwood and vanilla in sleep love this scent you guys vanilla absolute cedarwood oil this reminds me of like an Abercrombie type of scent 
very woodsy and sweet. 10 out of 10. I loved using this. I'm not sure if this is in stores currently. I want to say it's not, but it was good while it lasted. If there was some out there, I definitely would repurchase, but I'm pretty sure that they don't have this in stock at the moment. But that is cedarwood and vanilla. I loved putting this on before I would go to bed. So it's a really nice calming little body cream. So I love it. Here is another sleep inducing scent. This is rose lavender in aromatherapy. I loved this a lot. It was very relaxing and it was very much a vibe. I would um, use this in the shower before I would go to sleep. It has rose oil, promotes feelings of comfort and connection, and lavender oil inspires tranquility. Breathe deeply for best results, and it was definitely a nice little, you know, decompressing, wind down type of product. I love aromatherapy. I stand by a 100%. And, um, this really does moisturize. I love these moisturizing body washes. I think they're so good. And I love them when they're on sale, especially for semi-annual sale. Sometimes they're like three bucks when they're 75% off. I know they don't have this anymore, but I was glad that I did pick it up on last year's semi-annual sale. I think it was um, the one in the summertime. So, I want to see this come back so I can pick more up. But that is Rose Lavender. I don't know if I rated this, but this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Next up, we have a Strawberry Pound Cake. I love this. I love the scent. Um, sweet and just cakey. I love it. 10 out of 10, and I will be repurchasing these in the future. Next, I have Frosted Snow Blossom. Here are the scent notes. Snow Jasmine, Frosted Gardenia Petals, Crisp Air, White Sandalwood, Winter Musk. This definitely was musky, almost masculine. So I love that. We love a little diversity. Um, this was a really good scent. I enjoyed it a lot. And I will be giving this a hmm, 8 out of 10. Definitely not my favorite favorite. Um, I, re I noticed that I would gravitate towards other shower gels that I had in the shower over this one. So this one took me a little bit of a while to use up. But nonetheless, a very nice scented product. So that is Frosted Snow. This one took me forever to use. I was holding on to this because of the packaging and I got this like two years ago. I remember it smelled a whole lot better than what it did when I decided to use it. I was like, this is not a pet. I should not be like petting it and keeping it. I mean, I wasn't really petting it, but you know, like, why keep things when you know they're going to go bad? Like, might as well enjoy them while they smell good. So, anyways, here are the fragrance notes. Frosted bergamot, mistletoe berry, fresh balsam, snow, kissed lavender, frozen juniper. Very lovely scent. Enjoyed every bit of it. 10 out of 10. This is like a retired fragrance, so I don't think it's going to make a comeback anytime soon, at least. But that is snowy morning. All right, this is one of my, f I loved this collection, you guys. The meditative collection in aromatherapy. Loved it. I love the packaging as well. This is bergamot cedarwood. I loved the sea minerals and aloe aspect of this body cream. Um, the scent notes are <laughs> bergamot and cedarwood. Um, I love this scent, you guys very aquatic very fresh very like by the beach vibes i loved taking this to the lake and like after i would shower and like put this on it was such a vibe you guys i think i even took this to the beach so i 
loved, 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 loved this. 10 out of 10. If this comes back, I am repurchasing this and I am doubling up because this was a good little scent. So that is Bergamot Cedarwood and Meditative Ocean. So we're going to run through these really quickly because this is all that's left. Here is a flannel hand spray antibacterial. Loved, loved, loved this scent. 10 out of 10. I definitely will be repurchasing this in the future. Here we have a spiced cardamom. Um, this lasted about a good two, three weeks. Here are the scent notes. Very cinnamony and spicy. Um, will I be repurchasing this? Mm, probably not. Here we have a heavy hitter right here. This is mahogany balsam. Here are the scent notes. When you plug this baby in, like I had to turn the fan on in my room and it was like 50 degree weather outside just because it was so strong and I didn't want to like unplug it and like you know I was like I'm gonna let that thing just throw so this is definitely a strong strong throw if you guys want a strong throw buy this um, this is fall and winter this is available during fall and winter so definitely stock up on this if this is the scent that you guys like and if you guys want a strong wallflower 10 out of 10 strongly recommend mahogany teakwood this isn't even the enhanced fragrance and this thing throws one of my favorites right here i have plenty of backups of this 10 out of 10 here we have leaves scent notes for that is crespered Crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove, spice. Definitely a spicy, spicy over fruity. Like it definitely gave out more spice and fruity. But um, this was a really good one. 10 out of 10. Probably will repurchase during the fall. Next is Honolulu Sun. I didn't really finish it, but... I just had to get rid of it. Um, not my favorite. I'll rate this a 5 out of 10. It just wasn't one of my favorites. I feel like the coconut was way too much. But yeah, this, this won't be a repurchase for me. Hibiscus Paradise. No scent notes on this, but it was a cool little refreshing type of scent. Um... 7 out of 10 wasn't my favorite, and I won't be repurchasing this. Here we have Midnight Blue Citrus. Here are the scent notes. Juicy Citrus, uh, Fresh Spring Water, Sweet Mango. I wish it had more mango in this. Um, it smelled good probably the first two, three weeks. And after that, it was just kind of like, eh. I just kind of like just pulled it out of the plug and I was like whatever I was I was over it but it's a good little scent especially during spring and summer weathers so I will be rating this an 8 out of 10 and I probably won't repurchase because I wish it was a stronger performer next this right here marshmallow fireside I have a bunch of backups of marshmallow fireside it gives your house like this new house type of scent. It's woody, it's sweet, it's smoky, it's everything that I love. One of my favorite scents, 10 out of 10. Strongly recommend. This right here is Mahogany Teakwood. You guys know how I feel about that. 10 out of 10. And some pocket box. Here is one of my favorites right here. Eucalyptus and Spearmint. 10 out of 10. Definitely repurchase this. Mahogany Teakwood. Banger. Loved this a lot, you guys. Always got compliments. Definitely top tier when it comes to antibacterial and just scent. Period. Bomb right here. 10 out of 10. And our last product for this empties is Mango Swirl. Um, 
This had like a little like creamsicle mango type of vibe to it. Um, it was different. Um, it's like a creamy mango type of vibe. I love the packaging more than I did the scent. I like my mango to be just straight up fruity mango. And this was like like a milky mango. It wasn't definitely like it wasn't my favorite, but it was a good pocket back. I'll be rating this an 8 out of 10. And I probably won't repurchase this in the future because I know there's better mango scents than this. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't uploaded in a minute, but I've just been like chilling and like sometimes I just don't feel like recording. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But I do have a couple of hauls just sitting around in my room. So I will definitely record for you guys this week. I will have a video up this week, I promise. Um, I just wanted to get, I wanted to put this out there before I started up with new hauls and uploading new hauls. So I got over my hump. This was my hump. So if you guys like these types of videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment and like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.